Everybody said I talk too slow. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna talk real fast. So did you kind of send me a little faster? Like I'm from the East Coast or somebody from the East Coast? But this is the beef between Beyonce and Rihanna. If you don't understand what the beef between Beyonce and Rihanna, then I don't know where I should start. Maybe I should start from the beginning. I'm also, gonna talk real fast so that way you can get caught up and get your thoughts caught up with me or something like that. I don't know. I'm not from the East Coast. I'm Midwest, baby. We take our time. You don't like it? Hit fast, folks. <laughs> Y'all dudes kill me. Y'all find reasons to hate. How you gonna hate somebody giving you something for free? That's just dumb. Hey, man, I'm giving you something for free. Man, look, I know it's free, but I want mine at this time in the day. And I want it to be long. <laughs> and I want you to talk fast. And I don't want you eating. <laughs> <laughs> Making demands. Ain't that something like they're paying you for your time? Mm, mm, mm. Just for that, I'm going to make you wait 10 seconds. Now I'm back. Now, when Rihanna first came on board, there was a rumor floating around when she first was making public appearances with Jay-Z when they signed her that Jay-Z and her had something going on. And they wanted to use that as promotion as the rumor came later. Now, during this time, what was going on was the fact that Jay and Beyonce were having problems in the relationship. And this was not one of the main fallout points of it. This is the second breakup. Because the first breakup happened when he was retired. When Jay was retired, he wanted to have kids. She didn't. And that led to a whole big mess. And they ended up getting back together. But at that time, they were apart. Now they back together. But here comes this Rihanna situation now. And why he's why that situation like she believed Jay the scenarios kept adding up to where that continued to be a problem and she never liked Rihanna enough to want to work with her and do songs and Rihanna didn't want to go into the avenue Beyonce went into and then as time went on what happened was the incident with Chris Brown you know, Beyonce went out publicly, stood up, you know, but she wanted to do it as a, I'm going to support her, but I'm not going to get involved in their business, where Jay made it his business to be against Chris and very noticeably against Chris Brown. And Beyonce didn't like the fact that he did that because what he did was put a lot of pressure on her in her interviews well your husband did this and she was like why would you do this to me you know why did you do this period and then the, the BET awards came around and while the BET awards was coming around it was like oh if the rumor was flying around because Jay said he didn't say it but his aides or the people that work for him informed BET that if Chris Brown performed you could scratch Beyonce and Jay Z they're not going to perform at the awards if you want that to happen Chris Brown is not going to be in the same stage it's going to be a conflict of interest So it's easy for Jay to say, I never said that. When in fact your staff said it. 
And once that went public, BET decided, okay, well, we're going to make this public news. Since that's what they want to do, we're going to send Chris Brown home. We're going to tell Chris he can't be there for the Michael Jackson tribute, but that's okay. You know what? We're going to put him on blast for it. So the rumor was everywhere. So now everybody's looking at that. So BET said, okay, you know what? We're going to follow suit. But now it's everywhere. And it's leaked. So Beyonce's pissed. Because all of this was made without her consent, without a conversation with Beyonce. And now it's like, how is Jay and Beyonce going to be so petty? And now it looks bad on her. So she was ticked at Jay. Real ticked off. And she didn't talk to him. And a lot of people didn't know that they stayed in separate hotels for the BET Awards. Beyonce was doing her two of things. She wanted nothing to do with Jay. They were not talking. He was promote, getting ready to promote his Blueprint 3 thing. They were not speaking to one another. Because of this Rihanna situation. So, after all of this blows over, of course, things start to work out where they get back together. They J and B back a team. Now, Rihanna is seeing something that's happening with Beyonce because of Rihanna's success. Rihanna's success is going up the ladder. And she's being put on the pedestal of where Beyonce is. Then you, you've seen a switch between Beyonce's music and Rihanna's music. Beyonce's sound is starting to sound more like Rihanna's music. And they're like, whoa, wait a minute. Something's wrong here. And tracks that were supposed to go to Rihanna end up going to Beyonce and they were like no 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 we were gonna get that to be anyway you know I would have brought it to Rihanna if she wanted it but Beyonce had the first right of refusal so Rihanna wanted to know what was going on from the jump like what's happening like why is she doing this why is she coming in my lane I didn't go in her lane I stayed in my lane and now here comes Beyonce in her lane. Then Beyonce, you know, she goes into an interview with Rihanna. She says how much she loves Beyonce, you know, and like I love her work and this and that. She does this. Then Beyonce puts out this song and video that's Rihanna ish called Bow Down. And it rubbed all the female artists. A wrong a certain way and Rihanna even went to retweet somebody's statement about people having to feel like they gotta buy everything or have all this money or homes in all these different places to feel a certain way over certain people when Rihanna retweeted it and everybody was like oh she doesn't Beyonce now but she felt that way because Bow Down was so disrespectful and was so not Beyonce. It was like, who is this? Did Jay Z write this song? It just wasn't her thing. It's not her lane. And a lot of fans felt like, oh, what's going on with Beyonce? But it widened the gap to where there's a problem. But Rihanna is not the one that's trying to keep a problem. She's trying to say, look, I'm professional. Just, you know, I'm doing, I'm in my lane. Just stay in your lane. Why is she trying to come in my lane? You know, and they've never worked on a song together. And I don't see them ever working on a song together. Because Rihanna do not want Beyonce in her lane or be compared to Beyonce. She want to make it on her own, and she's made it on her own. So I respect what Rihanna's done as far as making it. You know, she's young, and she gonna sleep around with a thousand people. That's her thing. 
you know, but Rihanna gonna do it her way. And that's all I got to say about that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was nice and slow enough for you. I'm out. <laughs>